What's up, you guys? Uh, today we're doing something a little different. Um, it, yes, it is essentially going to be a reaction thing. Um, but as you can see, I'm looking at the Resident Evil 7 Biohazard uh, YouTube page. They've been putting out these, like, short little Vignant type clips of stuff for the new game. And now, as a precursor, I love the Resident Evil games. I have a very complicated history with the Resident Evil games. Um, there was a time where I played them too much and maybe got a little addicted to, like, the entire universe and then had to, like, stop completely and, and like, rebuild. So, with the new game coming out, like, I'm really excited. I mean, I I've played the demo. I'm good. I'm chill. They scare the shit out of me still, but... Um, with these new little things, like, they're, they're literally, like, almost 30 to 40 second clips, and they're called The World of Resident Evil 7, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six right now. So I just want to go through and, like, kind of react to them, um, and give my opinion, because I have, a, I do have a lot of theories about the new game, um, and I don't know what to do with them, so I figured, let's put them on the internet. Let's, let's, let's get them out there. So let's start with number one. Now I have seen, I think I've seen the first two or three, only because I watched someone else's video that was, like, talking about it, and they were giving a theory, so. Let's get to number one. Number one is called Mysterious Caller. That damn phone. Yeah. Okay. And then at the end, this, this is the other thing. Like at the end, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten little spots where it looks like there's gonna be more. So clearly they're like building this all up to something. Anyways, um I don't know. I don't know about the phones. The phones are very interesting. They they've been scattered. They were they were in the, the original demo. Um you know, we had, with the with the demo update, there was more, and there was another line to it. And, um, there was a theory, I know, that that maybe was how people were going to be able to save in-game. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not it. I think that's just going to be a voice to guide us. Oof. I don't like... The phone just rings out of nowhere. It scares the crap out of me. All right, number two is called Shotgun in the Box. I do remember seeing this one. Okay, this is this is the this is how we're gonna get our inventory and store and switch out items and stuff. Then we had a shotgun. Okay, that one was really obvious. Shotgun, our inventory space. We're gonna be maybe we're not gonna be case managing like we were in four, but we're gonna be at least you know working some inventory space. Number three is called recorder. We have the phone again. This is how we're gonna save. We've gone from the typewriter to the recorder. I like that. It's a nice little update. I mean, not that that's really modern, but... Goddamn phone ringing! And the inventory case. Alright, so there's gonna be, like, a room where you can go to save, swap your inventory, probably get a phone call from some woman that I think is Ada. Number four is called Stock Up. Bringing back the, uh, the crates and barrels that we can just hack open. Okay, so, you know, again, 
something we've all expected. All right, number five is called Survival. Ooh, this one's got me a little worried. I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> Green herbs! Hold, hold on, I gotta pause this. I know I wanna just watch it and react, but I have to get three dogs heads and open the door to the yard, get the dogs heads from the dissection room. What the hell kind of place are we going in this game? Also, his hand is really messed up and his little watch, which I heard someone was like, yeah, that's gonna be how we tell your life. Holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. Oh, I bet that burned. Okay. And then the most recent one is called Immortal. That could mean a lot of things. If you know the Resident Evil, you know that immortality is something that the Umbrella Corporation was trying to strive for at one point. Which is how they got came up with these viruses, and that's what they thought they were gonna do. I'm really hyped. It's over, boy. What the? Fuck. That's okay. So that's Jack Baker. He just smashed you with that. And you shot him. He's gonna get up. Oh, no, no, no. I knew it! Get it. <laughs> he shot him in the chest. You gotta shoot him in the head. All right. Um. I don't- I don't even know what to make. Um, I'm super excited for this game. I mean, oh my gosh. Just memories. <sighs> uh, I might do another video like this about the Resident Evil series. I might do a whole video for my theories on Seven. Um, there's a couple of channels out there that are doing a really good job, though, of keeping up with the news and the theories and putting all the pieces together, so... I, I might I might just do one little theory video and that's it and then take my step back. So um I'll I'll definitely get that in the planning and the works. Um I'm just so stoked for this game. I've been waiting for it since six came out and six was you know, six was good for me, but there were all, I had a lot of questions at the end, like who is the family? What why are we creating all these issues? Then there's the whole idea that Wesker's not dead again. So uh, I'll, I'll break some of my thoughts down in another video in the future, probably before this game comes out. Uh, this is hashtag not sponsored, but you know what? The game comes out January 24th. It looks like it's going to be awesome. You should definitely pre-order it. I'm going to be pre-ordering it. Um, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And do subscribe because I make videos every day. They're not always like this, but sometimes they're like this. Um, and until then... I'll see you in the next one.